मैंने शिल्पा शेट्टी से कहा कि आपने नाक कटवा दी तो आपके बारे में बहुत कुछ आपने पता नहीं क्या क्या कटवाया क्या क्या लगवाया सच है कि प्रभु जी आप भी है ना देखिए मैंने कुछ कटवाया नहीं है मैंने बढ़वाया है The matlab kuch bhi episodes being a regular feature on the channel what has also become an episode that unites us all is to dissect awkward and cringe worthy moments when actors interact with the media with more and more actors limiting their exposure to media houses these outbursts or slightly uncomfortable moments have been even more rare so what i have to do is literally churn them out of the history books these represent moments recently and from history where journalists spilled out combative questions to challenge the actors in some cases leading to altercations with the media and finally moments also that will make us look away on the sheer awkwardness that can be cut with a knife You know the drill so let's get to it here is tried in a few productions with the most difficult and awkward indian celebrity interviews to go through Vishwak Sen If you hear insights from the Telugu film industry you would know that Vishwak Sen and his professionalism often becomes the center of debate regarding his movies The validity of the statements is all about hearsay and perspective For example recently Arjun Sarja publicly called out Vishwak for delays he was causing regarding the shooting of his directorial venture and Vishwak presented his perspective of being very clear about his intentions Irrespective while promoting one of his movies that released in May of 2022 Vishwak was giving an interview to TV9 and was being questioned about his prank where the infamous theater response guy was dousing himself with oil in public the actor in the coverage by the news channel was presumably called Pagal Sen and Depress Sen because of which the actor retaliated and this led to an ultimate altercation that you will see you better mind your tongue and not call me depressed person or pagal sen you understand okay you can get out of my studio i am just telling you you can get out of my studio you fucking god you guys called <laughs> me get out of my studio while the theatrics of it all might be a bit much this interaction is tough to even sit through as the journalist refuses to understand what the actor is trying to say just get out of my studio who the, who the yeah. hell are yeah, you yeah, to yeah, tell yeah, me to get, get out? out janvi kapoor One of the most popular television interview events include the India Today conclave where many reputed public figures appear in front of the media talking about their experience in their respective fields. This year included the likes of Ram Charan, Malaika Arora and Janvi Kapoor and while most of the questions were directed at their professional work and future plans, Janvi in a room full of journalists across mediums was met with a rapid fire and out of all things was reminded of her skills where she can make puppy sounds and was pleaded to perform the same leading to the most awkward moment in a relatively dignified platform. You know that clip of yours which is gone viral. We have to we have to let in the audience on that Which one? Little talent of yours where you could actually make puppy sounds. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good at making puppy sounds also. But I can't come to like an in India Today conclave and start barking Listen, on stage. Listen, look at our audience; they're all cheering. You, <laughs> do we want to? So do we want to hear her make some no. fun animal sounds? Yeah, yeah. How many senior senior log am I? Here, I'm here. 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 I said two we got me to bark <laughs> no see they all saying no Shashi Kapoor one of my favorite actors from the iconic film family of the kapoors is Shashi Kapoor an actor who is known for his effortless charm and experimentation with cinema across languages him and his wife really developed a beautiful space in the form of prithvi theater that still thrives today and while giving an interview with india today in 1991 The interview mostly focused on his life and career at the movies. As journalist Du Pry questions were asked about his deceased wife who passed away in 1984 due to colon cancer. And you can see the actor not wanting to answer the same as it's deeply personal to him, but the journalist keeps on putting the pressure of wanting something. Moments that are very difficult to get through. Jennifer's death seems to have affected you a lot in that way. I mean, it seems to have changed your priorities, your lifestyle. Well, surely, of course. Yeah. Could you expand on that? No. Jennifer was obviously the most important woman in your life. Of course. So, how did she influence you as a person, as an actor? You, again, you you coming into a very Hindi word, that zati mamla. What do you miss most about her? Again, come to the wrong thing. Okay. Last one. What do you miss about her? Well, as a person. <laughs> Shahid Kapoor. 
if there is one thing that journalists are always interested to ask actors especially if their films have some intimate scenes it is to ask some uncomfortable questions regarding the same this can range from aapko kaisa laga kiss karke or aapki biwi ne trailer dekha kya these are legitimate questions that are flung around in press conferences and during the press conference of kabir singh the infamous voice that we all know asked a brilliant question for which shahid had a befitting response making me also wonder whether the state of indian journalism will ever progress teaser mein humne dekha tha ki shahid ji aapko different andaaz mein kiss karte hain aapka koi reaction nahi are tere bahut time se kya koi girlfriend boyfriend nahi rahi hai kya nahi 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 aapne bataya na ki paisa usi ka hai पैसा उसी का है आपने बताया ना मैंने बोला अगर देखना है तो पैसा देना पड़ेगा जी उसी का है नहीं बोला वो तूने समझा गौतमी The actress Gautami was in the news in 2017 for a emotional letter that she had written to PM Narendra Modi on Jay Lalita's passing away and her amicable separation with Kamal Hassan. The actor who does carry herself with dignity and grace had become frustrated with the line of questioning in a radio interview where she was being accused of doing things just for publicity. This led to an altercation with the host who seemed to be stuck in his ways leading to a never-ending cycle of back and forths that is tough to sit through. Enna pannu nu solreenga. Na sari nu solta neenga adukku convince aamadhu. என்ன <laughs> <laughs> If there is a celebrity interaction that is bound to be clipped because a presumably regular conversation turns into a debate it has to be with Tapsi Pannu while attending an award function Tapsi was being questioned on the negativity that surrounds her film Dobara and how there was a campaign against the movie this led to a bickering face off between the actor and said journalist that really doesn't amount to anything other than seeing people argue on a very mute issue Critics logon ne campaign chalaya negative ha social media mein critics logon ne ek bari ja ke na एक बारी थोड़ा सा होमवर्क कर लेना भाई क्वेश्चन पूछने से पहले एक बारी जाके ना एक बारी जाके जरा क्रिटिक्स का रिव्यू चिल्लाओ मत चिल्लाओ मत भाई फिर ये लोग बोलते हैं एक्टर्स को तमीज नहीं है चिल्लाओ मत भाई मेरी बात सुन लो अच्छा पहले ये नहीं ये जवाब दे रहे हैं हाँ जी बताइए दी इंटरक्शन जस्ट कीप्स ऑन कैरिंग ऑन बट एंड ऑन अ वेरी अन इंटेंशनली फनी नोट सर सर आप होमवर्क करके आइए मुझे क्वेश्चन पूछने से सर तो होनी पहले पे तो जेंडर ठीक कीजिए Anjali Balamurli The case of female actors getting harassed during promotions of their film is really getting out of hand. These public events in malls especially become national news due to the groping and lack of crowd control, leading to several instances where the actors feel traumatized. Anjali Balamurli during the promotions of Thankam with Vineet Srinivasan was in a college and approached by a student and was visibly uncomfortable as there were attempts at touching her physically. The student appeared again and the moment will make anyone's skin crawl. <laughs> Sara Ali Khan and Vikrant Massey in a recent interview for the upcoming film Gaslight Vikrant Massey was being asked on his preconceived notions regarding Sara Ali Khan Vikrant admitted to assuming that Sara may have been a privileged brat who thinks about the looks of the characters and her work regarding the craft may be limited but to his surprise she was extremely professional and thorough on the job Vikrant expressed on how he was apologetic about the assumption leading to an awkward silence as Sara did not recall an apology per se and i also apologize for having that uh, mindset before yeah did he apologize i don't remember the apology <laughs> This leads to a really uncomfortable moment where Vikrant almost has to double down on how hard working Sara is and I felt like he was almost cornered to do so just so that he doesn't come across as heartless. The awkwardness was definitely real. I think uh, she's one of the most hard working actors in fact I can really say that. I think it's bad. No, start is over compensate me to feel that way. Vikrant I forgive you. Thank you. Especially since you apologize <laughs> as you come as a girl. Shahrukh Khan In many press conferences some journalists are often so emboldened to dish it out with the celebrity that the intention is purely to create conflict. Kitne saal ho se ho social media pe? Aap aapki umar kitni hai usse to kam hi ho. So kitna 2 saal 3 saal to hoga. 10 saal se ho. 10 saal se social media pe. To uske upar bahut cheeze aati hain jo sahi information nahi hoti hai. Aap batao ki desh ke liye aapne kya 
In a press conference for Happy New Year, one journalist made it pretty clear that he wanted to challenge Shah Rukh regarding his contribution to the nation. The emboldened journalist got a fitting response for his constant pestering. What I do for my country, and as I do it, is not I'm um, a Muslim. So I do charity, what I do, what I work, it's not personal. So I don't think anybody has the right. What I do as charity, what I do as social service, is very private and personal to me, and I don't share it, especially not on social media. And that was a video guys. Write it down in the comments below whether you have some video ideas for our channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.